Well, as more Democrats are actually beginning to question the president's mental health, some actually want to make it easier to remove a president. Oregon's Democratic Congressman Earl Blumenauer calling for a review of the 25th Amendment to do just that. Another pushing a bill to actually put a psychiatrist in the White House. They say they're worried about what he calls erratic behavior from our current president. Now, Rich, you say this review would be a big waste of tax dollars. Before you give that explanation, <clears throat> let me just go over the 25th Amendment for folks out there who may have forgotten it. This is Section 4. It essentially says that the vice president can get together with the majority of the cabinet go to the Senate and the House and say, look, the president is incapacitated and the VP can replace him. Uh, this particular amendment uh, would make it actually easier for the VP to change the president. Why is it a waste of money? Well, it's a stunt. Um, already it's relatively easy. I think it probably was inspired by the Humphrey Bogart movie, The Cane Mutiny, oh, yeah. you know, uh, which occurred at around the same time as the 25th Amendment. But uh, it's a stunt. Um, you know, an actual constitutional convention would take two-thirds of state legislatures. Well, let's see, the Democrats control 14 state legislatures. So, you know, it, it just, it's a PR move. Is it a PR move, Bruce? Uh, it's probably politics, but I don't think there's anything wrong with reviewing it. I mean, I'm happy that we're talking about this amendment because uh, given the press conference that he had uh, Thursday, I think that uh, people should be reading the Constitution uh, very closely and putting it in their pockets. Well, of course, that's your interpretation, John. A lot of other people saw that press conference as a win for the president. Uh, and by the way, the president is still viewed. A Fox News poll that was out this week, of course, it was put out before the press Press conference. It may actually be higher now, but the president has a 52 percent strong leader approval. That's pretty strong. Yeah, it's lots of PR from the Democrats. It's a waste of time. In fairness, if you go back to President Obama's presidency, a number of Republicans, including our current president, wasted a lot of time questioning the origins of President Obama's birth. I think both parties need to grow up. Rather than elevate the executive with all this, they should just very much work to restrain executive power no matter who's in office. Sabrina, is it a waste of tax dollars? It is a waste of tax dollars, David. And look, here's the thing. I think that there is a growing rift within the progressive movement between how best to go after Donald Trump. The fact is their messaging on this failed during the campaign that he was crazy and erratic and not, you know, meant for the White House. And it's going to fail again now. They sort of are not willing to let it go. If they want to, you know, if they want to be vigilant about executive power, I am right there with John. I think we should be vigilant about every executive uh -huh. power, every administration right now. Well, Mike has a compromise. He, he I think he would be in favor of the changes to the 25th Amendment if what, Mike? If they went along and agreed to test all members of Congress first before they <laughs> tested the president for their mental competence. Look, sample. these guys in Congress and women, they've been there for decades, some of them. Many of them are the reason why we're in this mess of lousy economic growth and a huge deficit. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, Bruce, a lot of people that are questioning the, the president's mental stability at this point, a lot of the Democrats, some of them are, are over, much older than he is. Some are into their 80s. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have issues with what uh, Mike says. I mean, wow. I think that these people should all get uh, regular uh, health checkups and mental health checkups, and everybody should be all in. I mean, they're all working for us, right? Rich, I saw you give a thumb ups to what Mike said. It looks now like Bruce is for it, too. Yeah, well, that would have been the end of Harry Reid and, and probably many other ones, too. <laughs> Sabrina, you think they go for it inside the Beltway? Yeah, I don't think so. No. Although, you know, I'm sure there's sort of like a mental health association that might be for it. I don't jo know. John, I think that's the problem. Once you're inside the Beltway, you want to stay there no matter what. That's why the term limits never gets going. Of course you do, but we're also talking symptoms rather than the real problem. It, if we're going to talk about the Constitution, the Constitution severely limits the power of the federal government. If we lived within constitutional means, or if, if Washington did, we wouldn't have to worry about any Absolutely. of this. Absolutely. It's a great if document. Let's angels. stick to it. <laughs> All right. The Cashin gang getting ready to roll at the bottom of the